Mm. I have the privilege of living next to these guys and we just have such a safe place for us all to come together and just reflect on life. It's just, it's a gem. Hi mate. This is going to be hard for you to believe but this is you. Yes, Simon Lynch. Writing to you from the year 2014. I won't explain how this is going to be possible, but to prove it, I've enclosed, I've enclosed the front page of the Sydney Morning Herald. <laughs> I've also enclosed last week's lotto numbers. You might find them in there. <laughs> when I first got the opportunity to write this letter, I wanted to rave on for ages about how you can make your life better. But I soon realised that much of what we learn can't be taught and must be experienced. That being said, there are a few things I wish I'd have known a bit earlier, so I'll share a few thoughts and leave it up to you to decide what you do with them. But I might leave out a couple of things, just in case anyone else gets to hear this letter. <laughs> Straight up, that girl you've fallen for, yes Sue, she's going to break up with you soon and it's going to hurt. But don't worry, there's a much better one coming out of your way. <laughs> and you'll end up marrying her, so don't take it too hard. When you meet the right woman, no, I'm not going to tell you her name, because that'll spoil the joy of the search. You'll know she's the right one because she will value the same things that you do. Give yourself a while, though, to find, to find her, because it'll take you that long to work out what you value. Make sure that she is someone who makes you laugh a lot and that she surprises you at times and inspires you to enjoy life because you're way too bloody serious by nature <laughs> and you need someone to help you unwind. When you've been married a little while, go and do something really outside of your comfort zone for at least a year. Live somewhere really strange or do something really unusual. You'll discover things about yourself and about your wife which will keep your life and your relationship fresh. Oh, and here's a real gem. When your wife shares that she's struggling with something, whatever you do, don't try to fix it. <laughs> what she's really saying is, please ask me how I'm feeling and what you could do to make her feel better. I don't know how many times I've forgotten that. <laughs> you know how you're busting to impress everyone? Yes, Mr. Overachiever. Well, get over it. Soon, sure, sure, enjoy some of the accolades for a while, but at some point, take a look around you and you'll find people who are enjoying life while you are trying to conquer it. <laughs> Bottom line is, don't worry about what people are thinking of you. Because despite how much you worry about it, they're really not thinking of you as half as much as you hope they were. <laughs> You've come to learn that most of what you are doing is more about impressing others than doing what you really want to do. Sure, that's not always bad. Making mum and dad proud, throwing a good party, impressing the boss. They, they've all got a place. However, at some point, Stop working so hard to achieve and impress others and focus intentionally on loving them. I've learnt that people will forget what you've said and they'll even forget what you did, but they will not forget how you made them feel. I know you're pretty keen to take on the corporate scene. That's great, but one thought. At some point when you're climbing that ladder, Take a look around and see what wall it's leaning on. Ask yourself which people in your life you admire and most want to be like. And then choose a career to pursue. You'll be most happy if you align your work with the things that are most, you are most passionate about. A little hint. Make sure you travel to some poor countries and see what goes off in your heart and your mind when you see the injustice that exists. In a few years you'll have a yearning to discover if God really exists. Don't shy away from this. Your faith will change you in amazing ways and will give you a lot more meaning. Your life a lot more meaning. 
It'll be no safety blanket though. Way too many people, including Christians, live from the cradle to the grave trying to keep themselves safe and free from any struggles. That's no way to live life. Don't shy away from challenges. And don't shy away from sitting with people in pain. They will be some of your most special times and will take your friendships to a whole new level. Your faith will challenge you to put the people first. And that's probably the hardest and yet most rewarding things in life. A final thing on faith though. Hold true to what you believe and live by it, but don't judge others. They have their own truths to find and live by. And the way you interpret scriptures will change many times throughout your life. You know what, one of the best things I ever did was write my obituary. Yeah, a bit, a bit morbid, I know, but in doing so, I, describe, I discovered the things that I really valued. And it gave me a focus on how to live out my life. You won't always achieve what you wrote, but it's a great compass and has been a great guide to you, or will be a great guide to you, through many a tough decision. Live out these values that you discover. Take risks and be vulnerable and be passionate about making a difference. But for goodness sake, enjoy life. And laugh a lot. I've already told you that you're way too uptight. Don't take as long as I did to learn how to relax. Don't put that guitar away either. And as they say, sing and dance like no one else is watching and listening. This is particularly important when you sing and dance the way that you do. <laughs> that being said, if you ever find yourself doing a duo with your mate Dave for your wife's 40th, please, please practice more than you think you need to. <laughs> They've only given me a limited amount of time to share these things with you, so a few departing thoughts. Take time to slow down and see the beauty in life. Surround yourselves with honest and true friends who know how to laugh at themselves, know how to laugh at you and know how to laugh at the world. Be intentional about appreciating things. Be quick to admit mistakes and ask for forgiveness. But don't worry about forgetting that one, your wife will remind you often. <laughs> And never be afraid to tell people you love them, particularly your wife and children, and do it often. And call your mum more often too. <laughs> Finally, something really practical. Stop staring at weird people. <laughs> particularly big blokes with tattoos. <laughs> and if by any chance, in a couple of weeks from now, a bloke with heaps of tats comes up to you and say, what the hell are you looking at? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't panic and say, nothing, nothing, I'm looking at nothing. Try complimenting him on his tattoos. And if that doesn't work, hit the bastard and run as fast as you can. <laughs> anyway, mate, I love you. Live well and take care of those you love and those who suffer injustice. Thank you.